Um, in this lesson, we are going to work on preventing um, saving of um, blank or empty fields and also showing some sort of um, flash message. Um, if we go into guides and click on validation, active record. So these are the different validations that you can um, use out of the box. So we are interested in presence. So we want to validate that um, a particular field is present. In this case, we're looking for these fields here. All right, uh, to do that, we have to go into the model because the model is resp responsible for saving things. So we say uh, validate that full name is uh, present or presence is true. So just duplicate it a few times. I'm going to do the same for username. Well, you don't have to do it for password because um, this means you always have to, but I'm going to do this um, anyway. So we're validating that all these fields are always present. So and if it's not present, um, if this is not successful, actually before we do that, I'm going to uh, redirect this. When it's successfully saved, we want it to redirect to index. So if we say rake roots, so this will give us all the, the roots uh, for this app. Um, so this for the index page is um, this admin moderators. Um, so I'm going to copy that rather than redirecting back to the um, edit page, I'm going to say redirect to um, admin moderators URL. So that's perfect. All right, so um, if we uh, go back here, we want to show the error messages there. So if we go into our active record, go all the way down, down here, we have click on that and you can see a sample of um, error messages uh, being displayed. So I'm going to paste this here, okay? And we are going to copy moderator and change all the references to article. So hold your command or control key and uh, paste it there and replace, replace it in different places. Okay, um, so here we're saying uh, moderators, if you have any error messages, all right, then do all this here, display the error messages in different places. I'm going to change this to validation errors. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to use CSS in the future for that. All right, so um, if we um, go back to our index page, we already have missing full name. If I click here and I try to update this, submit this, then we should have some error messages. So we have some pre-defined uh, um, error messages here. Um, so if we go ahead and fill in the full name, uh, fill in uh, username to just king and password and click on update, that worked. But um, username, we want that to always be an email address. So there's a way of um, making sure that we do that. So validations uh, can have multiple rules for each field. Okay, so I am searching for um, something. This documentation is really well written, but I'm also blind. So format is what I was looking for. So this is the format. So we're saying this format needs to be um, A, B, um, A to Z, basically, only, um, only letters. So it's called regular expression. Um, we're going to be doing the same for email address, but I'm not going to use a regular expression for emails, um, complete email re regular expression. I'm just going to check that we have um, the at symbol in there. So I'll say a format and we give it um, a named argument with, and we say, double forward slash and at sign inside. So we're just checking that whatever you've submitted has an at symbol inside it. And if it doesn't, this is the message that we want um, to print on the screen. So this is the validation error message. It's not valid email address. Actually, it's just, it's not valid, it's fine. So it's a email is not valid. All right, so save this and um, we've just written this format, which you can read more on, on your own. So click on edit 
leave this as it is and try to save you can see username um, is not valid okay so if we enter a password in there and put an at sign example.com and update now everything works all right so let's go into our spec this is done so now we have this to do all right so what this basically is every time we successfully um, update a record we want to say something before we redirect so over here we want to set a flash for notice notice is when things go well so we say moderator was successfully updated okay so this will be printed on the screen but if there was a problem we would then say flash so notice is for good and alert is for bad so we say um there was a there was a problem update and moderator okay all right so for this to actually show we need to print it on the screen so rather than print it on individual um, pages we need to print it in one central location so it shows up um, app wide so in our view we have layout in layout we have application.html so if you've done HTML before this page will look very familiar to you so essentially edit and every other page uh, that we make always is put in here by um, rails framework it's yielded back to us so that means that anything we put up here will be shown on every single page so that's what we're going to do so say if there is a flash message then we want you to uh, render a div with a class um, notice okay which we are going to style um, at some point down the line and within the notice div we want you to print the flash notice message so the message will change uh, from controller to controller um, in this case we know what it is so we end our if statement here so this takes care of our notice and we need another one uh, to take care of the the alerts for when things are not so good so just hold your command and select all the notices and then type alert to change it and that's that's it so now we have our flash message printable for both notice and alert all right so if we come here click on edit uh, we're going to click on save um, reset this page because I used I tried something else before so that's why we had that message up there so you shouldn't have that and you shouldn't expect it all right so here I will um, try and update this so up here we have there was a problem because we didn't fill in the password field um, and yes you can't um, refresh the screen halfway through editing things because we rendered that view don't worry about that so let's try for a successful um, save put a password in and click on update moderator was successfully updated so that was fine okay so um, you refresh it and it should go so let's try again for unsuccessful save there was a problem updating moderator so let's try for a successful save and then click on update then moderator was successfully updated so a flash message only lasts uh, for one request life cycle so if you refresh the screen or visit another page and come back or whatever it will be gone all right so that is this done and we have moderator cannot delete themselves we know that because we have encoded it and we are not going to so that is in virtually done indirectly done so if I go back here and 
um, we have all the, the records there. We've completed that. We've had a look at format, validations. So everything to do with, um, to do with moderators is actually done. So we could just have that shaded off. The next time we'll come back onto Rails, we'll add uh, sessions. So sessions allow us to restrict um, access to um, authenticated um, pages. So you need login to view anything on the admin section of the, the site. So we'll be adding on username and password to it. But before then, we are going to go into Ruby and learn about classes, uh, methods, instance methods, class methods, and things like that. So we, we would um, we'll do a bit of that in the next few videos. So I'll see you in the next lesson.